Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan. We're here in Rotherham with the one and only Stevie Levy. Stevie, victorious tonight in front of your little one as well. How's life treating you? Oh, what a night, what an incredible night. I've said it before, like every time you, you have a ring walk, you just think to yourself, life don't get better than this, it's what it's all about. But tonight it got better. I had my little boy there back in, you know, I say home, it's three hours from home, but I had a massive crowd come down, all the support, absolutely incredible. I'm very, very grateful to everyone. Let's have a rewind because you're coming off the loss, yeah. uh, building back up, having that comeback fight. Talk to me about kind of what we don't get to see behind the scenes. You know, when the lights are off and the interviews are gone, the fight's done, and you're you're at home and you're kind of dealing with that. How has it been dealing with that and getting getting back up, as it were, to come back? Do you know what? It sounds silly, but I mean, straight after the fight when I lost, I was heartbroken. You know, I went to the change room, I was crying my eyes out, FaceTime my son, and, and he was like, "Mum, why are you upset?" Like, she was a world champion, and, and that got me thinking. Oh, wait a minute, you know. And then Dave Allen rang my, my coach Paul and went, "Mate, why is she upset?" Set. I didn't think she'd last three rounds and I went eight rounds with a former world champion and you know it weren't until I was getting all this feedback and I had more positive uh, more positivity from the loss than any of my wins and I started thinking wow I'm actually proud of myself and I watched it back and I thought you know what people paid to watch an entertaining fight and that was entertaining I showed I've got balls I give it a good go and do you know what I was on such a high after it like I didn't even I wasn't even upset honestly and people are saying like you know round eight like, round yeah round eight mate you know you knocked her out and do you know what if I had a knocked her out I could have been chucked in for a world title next as cool as it sounds I'm not ready for that I want to take my time and I'm not in a rush in this career do you know what I mean? People, some people just want to make it to the top, want to make it to the top. I love this journey. I don't want it to end. So I believe it ever happens for a reason. And I kept good friends with Ganina. I've been back over to Spain and trained with her. She's taught me some things. So, you know, it worked out perfect. I was not even upset about the lot. I bumped into someone in, like, I think it was the range. They were like, how, how are you coping? I'm like, what? They're like, you know, you're lost. I'm like, oh, yeah, mate, I'm fine. I'm good. You know, I look, I look at the box wreck and I always thought, you know, seeing that one next to the loss, you'd feel like a loser. But I thought, mate had a war. Did you see my face after it? Like, I looked cool. I don't, I don't know. I'm like, oh, I've got a little cup. I burnt that on egg yolk like three days ago, so I can't really take credit for that being in the fight. But, you know, I guess the aim is to hit and not get hit, in it? But, you know, I, I, I was buzzing after that Barcelona fight. Every day my face was swelling. I was like, oh. But, um, yeah, no, that was the best experience ever. Best experience. Well, I say that, and then we've had tonight. I've had a win in front of my son and all my friends. So, boxing is just the most incredible thing in the world to me. It's everything. So, you mentioned it being about the journey. The journey took you to Rotherham tonight, um, out in the comeback fight. Talk me through your performance. Yeah. Um, I had Dave Allen in my corner with my coach Paul this time, so it was different. I had Loza as well, so we've gone into it differently, um, like mentally differently, thinking we've got the whole team in here tonight, you know, I'm, I'm going to be looked after, I'm always looked after, but they, you know, they were telling me to work on my jab and take my time. I got a bit carried away and I was throwing, I've been practicing a lot of body shots and uppercuts in, in training because I feel like, you know, everyone knows I'm tough, everyone knows I'm fit, but I want to start mixing it up with technique now and, you know, not be, not be too predictable. So the things I've been practicing, I was excited to, you know, when I, I knew she was tough, but when I thought, you know, I can outbox her, I got, you know, when I was getting comfy and relaxed in there and letting the shots go, she was eating some tough shots. But, um, you know, it, it, I get a bit tensed up sometimes and I have to be told to relax. And Dave was like, look, she's tough. You Don't go looking for an knockout. Just keep on your jab, keep on the move, relax and enjoy it. And that's what I've done. I've done as I was told. You know, I'm a bit gutted I didn't get a knockout. Cause, oh, crap, sorry, mate. Ha! Could have got two grand, but, you know, you know, we move on. We got a successful six rounds. That's the main thing, isn't it? Sorry, mate. That was an accident. It's because you're right near my elbow. Look, look, look. It's all right. It's not on camera, so don't worry. Um, you had a lot of fans in there, a lot of loud fans in there. A word on them. That was it was incredible, wasn't it? What? Well, that was good, wasn't it? You know, what, well, you know, the thing with when you have to, um, you know, when people have to buy tickets and travel on a Friday, have time off work, it's a lot of money, you know, and it's a lot to ask of people. But when you know they're going to have a good night and you're desperate for it to come, you know, you're like, come on, please come. And you know, a lot of people leave at last minute, but you've got the promoters asking, you know, who, who's coming? So you have to be on it. And, and you feel awful nagging people. But when it all comes together and they're all there and that, that atmosphere, I'm sorry, but I, I know everyone like, oh, yeah, you want to get a knockout. Let's, you want to win your fight. I want to entertain. And then you've got a better crowd. You just thrive off it, do you know what I mean? And everyone, everyone else is buzzing. That makes me buzzing. And you can't beat the atmosphere. That tune, na, 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 na. and then everyone sing. I can't wait to watch the videos back. My Wi-Fi is going blip, blip, blip. I want to watch it. But that was a good atmosphere. Everyone was buzzing. I'm buzzing. It's good. It was really good. Just before I grab you for the interview, I think I saw you watching it as well. So you've, you've had a couple of looks at it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always, I think, as boxers, are really self-critical. So like, rather than going back and thinking, "Cool, yeah, I've done this," you think, "Shit, that happened. That happened." Do you know what I mean? So you're always worrying if you're doing something wrong. And until you watch it back, you're like, "Fucking hell." done a lot better than I thought so oh look, is Izzy the main man but um I can't what I'm saying now mine's gone blank if you were to that never happens but it just happened if you were to plan your second half of 2022 2022 sorry what would you want 
Um, do you know what? I, I mean, I, literally, GBM has been a brilliant night. Absolutely incredible shows. Um, I think Izzy's looking to get a different venue, hopefully close to home. I live in Kings in Norfolk. If we can get a show in Kings in Peterborough, Cambridge, mate, everyone will come. Like I say, it's not everyone can travel far away. Not everyone can afford it. Not everyone can get time off work. So fighting closer to home with a big old crowd again, that'd be awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'll, you know, I'll listen to David. He's my manager. I'll do as I'm told. That is what he's there for. I don't need to worry what's next. So I just do my work in the gym and David sorts that out for me. So full faith in David. What's next? Stevie, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank, Thank you so much for speaking to the box. So, so congratulations Thank on the win you. tonight. Thank, Thank you so you much. Me. Nice to see no you. worries. Thank you. Thank you.